everybody, it is the Lawn Gnome, and welcome to your November 2016 Funko Pop update. Did you notice anything awesome? Yes, the shirt has arrived. This is the Funko Pop t-shirt that I have been waiting for since March. It, of course, is Back to the Future, Marty McFly on a hoverboard, and can the shirt not come off as more 80s? I mean, I absolutely love the neon greens, the neon pinks, and, of course, the beautiful pose of Marty on the hoverboard. This is definitely turning into one of my favorite t-shirts that I have, especially with Funko shirts. And I had no intentions of getting so many Funko Pop t-shirts, but I gotta tell you guys, these are pretty awesome awesome shirts. Funko is just amazing me from top to bottom, no matter what I'm collecting that has their name on it. But we're not here to talk about Funko Pop t-shirts. We're here to talk about Funko Pops themselves. So I hope that you have a drink or a snack handy because we have a lot of Funko stuff to talk about. I mean, we just had New York City Comic Con and I think that we have gotten more news after the con for you guys today. So many new lines, so many awesome exclusives. I'm really excited to tackle them and let's get started. But before we do all of that, let's take a look at how my collection has been going. So for my collection today, I wanted to feature some pops that I got a while back. I just didn't know how to showcase them. But today, of course, we're going to be taking a look at my Mega Man pops that I picked up. I got myself Mega Man, of course, and his arch nemesis, Dr. Wily. When I heard that Mega Man was going to be having a pop line, I was excited because Mega Man is one of my all-time favorite video games. I remember countless hours of playing my all-time favorite in the series, which is Mega Man 2. And I even actually watched the cartoon at one point in time. But these two pops look fantastic. I did not know if they were just going to have Mega Man on his own, but it turned out that there was a series of four. And of course, the other two are Rush and Proto Man, and I really wasn't interested in getting them. But I figured if you get Mega Man, you gotta get Dr. Wily too. And I personally think that they did a great job with Dr. Wily, especially with his scruffy mustache, with his lab coat, all the way down to his perfectly designed loafers. I absolutely love the way he looks. He just looks so evil and sinister. But now, of course, let's take a look at the blue guy himself, Mega Man. I love the details on this Mega Man. I love the look of the Mega Blaster, as well as the carvings in the vinyl on his shoes, as well as the helmet. It is just perfectly right out of the video game, especially with the three vents on the back and the yellow meter on the back of his blaster. They are probably two of the more simpler pops because I have seen much more detailed pops in my day, but these two are definitely still detailed in their own special way. And I'm really glad that they have them, and I'm also not surprised that Funko did everything they possibly could to milk these guys as much as they were worth, because as of now, there are three exclusives that you can get of Mega Man, each with him in different colors because he has donned a power of a robot boss. So my question is, are they planning on expanding this line by adding more of Mega Man with robot powers going through all of the Mega Man games? Will we see Zero? Will we see X? Will we see any of the robot masters from any of the video games. The sky is the limit with Mega Man, everybody, so who knows? But in the meantime, I am proud to have these two legendary video game characters in my collection. So November had a lot more in store than anticipated in regards to all this amazing Funko news. We've got everything from exclusives for Halloween to brand new lines. So the first thing that I want to show you guys was the Funko Funko Ween celebration. There were three very special pops that were announced, including a... Harvest Batman, which is, of course, another Batman pop with the crazy colors, a glow-in-the-dark Elvira, which I thought is pretty awesome, and, of course, she's also in a red dress, and there's also a Halloween color version of the amazing Carlos, which, of course, once again, as I said, when they announced these specific pops in the San Diego Comic-Con, these are characters that Funko originally came up with before they started creating all these amazing Funko pop lines that they currently do. Hot Topic, of course, is the greatest place when it comes to exclusives because they are abundant and they are frequent. So, of course, Hot Topic offered a Halloween mystery box this year. Basically, you open up your mystery Funko box and you can get one of these four Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pops. You can get the masked Alice Delarge, a glow-in-the-dark pinhead, a brand new Jason, as well as a brand new Beetlejuice. Hopefully, you were able to get all the ones that you wanted. And, of course, we gotta take 
take a look at the specialty series. As I mentioned in last month's update, I finally figured out exactly what the specialty series is. It is one monthly pop that is offered to be carried by all comic and hobby shops. And of course, you couldn't get a more comic book related character than Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. The specialty series has been fantastic. I love the fact that they are really showing these very unique pops for everyone to get their hands on at their local hobby shops, so I'm sure that X-Men fans out there are very excited to collect Emma Frost, and X-Men fans, sit tight, because there's some more awesome news coming in regards to X-Men. And now let's take a look at some more Hot Topic exclusives. These are their regular exclusives, not Halloween. We have two brand new DC Pops, Thomas Wayne from the Flashpoint Paradox Saga, as well as a new 52 Harley, which definitely looks badass, even though there are lots of people that are saying enough with the Batmans, enough with the Harleys, you know, we still got some very unique ones coming. Hot Topic is also getting Kamikaze exclusives, Metallic Colossus with a brand new pose, which looks fantastic, as well as a glow-in-the-dark She-Hulk. And in the world of anime and all things Japan, we've got a Super Saiyan God Vegeta, which looks awesome, as well as a brand new Lazy Egg Gudetama in a very unique pose with a very unique box. And of course, we've got some brand new collector boxes coming out. We've got another FYE box double pack of Harry Potter and Voldemort, and Boxed Lunch is offering a brand new double pack of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. We also have a brand new Target exclusive of Doctor Strange. I know that the movie has just come out. I'm hoping to see it and review it very soon. But it looks like we have a glitter blue translucent Doctor Strange, which looks awesome. We have various ones of him in this exact same style, but in yellow. I really am curious as to where the blue has its place in the Doctor Strange mythos. Hopefully the movie will answer that question. Boys or Us, I'm sure you've seen a couple of these before. The costumed... Teen Titans in Batman, Wonder Woman, and Flash, but of course we finally got the other two at Toys R Us, and they are Beast Boy as the Martian Manhunter and Cyborg as Green Lantern. So now you can get all five of your Teen Titans Go costumed Teen Titans characters. GameStop is offering two very special exclusives. One is a Power Up Rewards, which is something brand new. I don't know much about it, so if you are GameStop frequents, please let me know exactly what this Power Up Rewards is, but it is a toast monkey bomb from Call of Duty and there is also a collector's box that they are offering which includes a brand new swarm sniper from Gears of War. Books a Million is also getting into the game with a brand new exclusive and it is a gold glittery rumple still skin from Once Upon a Time. So I'm sure all Once Upon a Time fans are excited for that one. And of course with BlizzCon this weekend we have the Widowmaker from the Overwatch set. It is a special color version and it is only found at BlizzCon this year. And of course, we've also got the collector's boxes. Last month, I gave you guys what the Smuggler's Bounty Box was this month. It was the Rogue One stuff, so there will be a link to the playlist for all of the past pop updates that I've done. Marvel Collector's Core is, of course, Doctor Strange, and it is a very unique pop. It is a levitating Doctor Strange, and the cape provides the ability for this character to stand. Well, this is definitely a very cool pop to add to your collection if you are in fact collecting Marvel pops. And we've also got the DC Legion of Collectors box, and it is a villains box this month, and it is the comic book version of Catwoman. We never got this version of Catwoman, and I'm absolutely happy that they did this. Although I'm not certain upon the neon green cape. I know that she wears the purple cat suit, but I don't understand the green cape. Maybe it's a Halloween thing, I'm not sure, but either way, I like it and I love the way that her whip looks. And now let's take a look at some of the new lines that we are getting. Blacklist! This definitely came out of left field. I do m love myself some James Spader, but I did not anticipate Blacklist actually becoming a pop line. So if you are a fan of the show and you want them, they're here. Congratulations. Of course, iZombie, we did get a taste of her at this year's San Diego Comic-Con, but now we are officially getting the line, so you can get two versions of Olivia Moore from iZombie. Also, Monster High is joining the Funko Pop family. I don't know much about this series, but I know that it is very much beloved among many. So, there are various characters that you can get from this line, including a Walmart exclusive that is definitely impressive because it looks like a skull 
painting from Dia de Muerta, and these are definitely very cool in terms of their details, but I am definitely not interested in them. But I'm sure that there are plenty of people that are interested in collecting Monster High Pops. Gilmore Girls fans are so thrilled about the fact that they are getting a pop line to call their very own, especially with these characters returning with a brand new series on Netflix this month, Everyone is excited to get Gilmore Girls pops. Also, Ash vs. the Evil Dead is coming out with a pop line. There is already, in fact, an Ash from Army of Darkness. Who doesn't love Bruce Campbell? I am very impressed that this is actually becoming a line. I don't know anything about the show. I've heard it is really, really good. But it is really cool to see a different version of Ash in regards to pops right now in the world of Funko. But here's a line that I am very interested in. It is Batman the Animated Series, and all of these pops look fantastic. But is it just me, or does Batman look a little chubby? The only thing that I am hoping for is that this is going to turn into a monstrous line because I love Batman, but I adore everything that Bruce Timm has done. Everything he has touched in the world of DC has turned to gold. I am going to get all six of these pops, but I'm hoping that there are going to be more members of the Rogues Gallery and maybe Commissioner Gordon and Alfred, maybe Detective Harvey Bullock, but I would also love this to expand into Superman the Animated Series and Justice League and maybe even Batman Beyond. Anime fans, Cowboy Bebop, very popular amongst many people out there in the world of anime, and I am not a fan of the show. I have seen it. It was definitely very cool, but what I do love is that theme song, and when I look at these pops, that's all that I think about. Although I am very surprised that Ed didn't come with Ayn. I thought that that would be the real icing on the cake there, but you know what? That's just me. But either way, I'm sure that Cowboy Bebop fans are going to love them. Now let's take a look at a line I'm even more excited for than Batman the Animated Series. I had heard about this just when I was putting up my October pop update. Animaniacs, everybody, they are coming. The three Warners and Pinky and the Brain, and I will get them all. If you have not watched Animaniacs in your life, because I know a couple of people on YouTube that follow me do not and have not yet, you have no idea what you are missing. I am so excited to have these characters in pop form. I have the entire series on DVD. I even have all five of these characters as beanbags, but I am just so excited to collect these characters and add them to my pop collection. Let's move to the world of comic books. We've got Luke Cage, who is all the rage at this point in time because of his Netflix series, which I am definitely enjoying. And we can get two versions of him. We can obviously get Luke Cage from the Netflix series, but you can also get Luke Cage as Power Man, which is so 70s retro and pretty awesome. I was also very happy with the little nod that they made to this version of the character. Also, I'm not going to show it in this video, but apparently if you take a look at the Power Man version of Luke Cage on the back of the box, there are some awesome Marvel characters finally joining the pop line as well. But we'll get into that in another video when there are some glam shots to show you. And as I had shown you guys some rough sketches as well, Conan the Barbarian and Red Sonja are coming, and I was not surprised at the fact that there were some exclusives. The Bloodstained Conan and the Bloodstained Red Sonja, as well as the Warpaint Conan, are all PX Previews exclusive. Remember all of you X-Men fans, there was something exciting coming? Well, yes, there's a brand new group of X-Men joining the X-Men line and the Marvel line, and there are some great fan favorite characters. We've got Retro Mohawk Storm from the 1980s, but we've also got Quicksilver, Archangel, Psylocke, Sabretooth, and Cable. And I am just so impressed over the fact that they are making this pop because I especially love the two different colored eyes. I think that that is fantastic, really paying attention to detail. But there's still so many X-Men that we haven't seen yet. I know that we have Jean Grey as the Phoenix, but why not Jean Grey? There's no Juggernaut, there's no Apocalypse, there's no Mr. Sinister. What about Gambit? There is so many more X-Men that need to join this line, and I'm hoping that they will be joining this line in the coming months. Going into the games line, we've also got the Gears of War. I did show you guys some rough sketches of these characters, but now I want to give you guys the pops themselves. They all look great, and I'm sure that Gears of War fans are going to be excited to collect them. We've also got a little retro favorite coming. We've got Qbert. Qbert is one of my favorite retro video games, and people aren't happy with the design, but I think he is really cute. And like the 
pops that I featured earlier in this video, I am definitely going to be adding Qbert to my video game characters collection. Now here's an interesting thing in regards to video games. We've got Titanfall, and we've also got a GameStop exclusive all the way at the bottom. But the most interesting thing about these pops is they are 6-inch pops with a pop inside, which is 2-inched. So, this is also something different from Funko. I'm very happy to see brand new styles of pops, as well as very unique poses. So, these are definitely some groundbreakers. I'm very impressed, Funko. Very happy to see some brand new things being brought to the front, because we haven't really gotten something as innovative from you guys in quite a while. So, this definitely is impressive. And the Pets line is expanding, with various versions of Labrador Retrievers, French Bulldogs, and another Dachshund. Now, pet fans out there, I'm sure they will go out and get them. I'm really surprised that they didn't give us any more cats, but maybe that will be happening in the future, as well as more dog species. Not going to add these to my collection, but again, I do appreciate the cause, as one dollar from every purchase of one of these pops does in fact go to the ASPCA. And we've got the Assassin's Creed movie line coming out. I am not interested in these at all, but I am still very interested in the movie. But then again, a Michael Fassbender pop, who is not going to be happy with one of those. Bill and Ted showed you guys the rough sketches when they were announced at the Toy Fair earlier this year, but now they are finally joining the pop line of movies, and they look wonderful. I love the poses. Love the details. Very curious to see if we may in fact get a pop ride of them in the phone booth with Rufus. Who knows? But one way or another, I know so many people who have been waiting for these two cult classic characters of the 1980s to finally join the pop ranks. Disney, of course, is expanding their line. They're adding two new characters to the Little Mermaid line, which is Flounder and Sebastian, and they definitely look great. But I think the most impressive line that they have chosen is A Bug's Life. We've got Flick with his gear, we've got Princess Ada, and of course, we've got Heimlich. And everybody loves Heimlich. I am not going to add him to my collection, but I will not lie that I think that Heimlich looks hilariously adorable, especially with his eyes so close together, as well as his pose. And of course, with Disney, we've got Moana. I really don't know what to say about this movie. I am excited. I am hoping that the movie is good, because the trailers do look great. And I will say one thing. These pops look great, especially the two versions of Maui. There are also a whole bunch of exclusives with this line, including a Walmart, a Target, a Hot Topic, and a Books A Million exclusive. So, Moana fans, I'm not surprised that they are milking this for all it's worth. Hopefully the movie will be good, so feel free to add as many Moana pops as you would like to your collections. And we're going to close out with a line that I was so excited to finally feature. Yes, Harry Potter Wave 3. We have got some characters that people have been very excited to finally add to their collections, including Professor McGonagall, Fred and George Weasley, Bellatrix Lestrange, and Mad-Eye Moody. I personally love the Mad-Eye Moody, as well as the Lucius Malfoy with his cane, and they all look fantastic. I mean, I always knew that the Harry Potter line was just going to take off, and it's not just these guys, because we've also got exclusives. We've got everything from a Target exclusive of Harry Potter holding a golden egg to Harry and Ron in their knit sweaters. I am just so impressed with how far this line is going. I mean, sure, we're getting plenty of versions of Harry and Ron, but I have a feeling that we are going to be getting so many more amazing pops in this line, because there are so many rumors that are leaking right now with Harry Potter Pops, especially now with Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. So I think that this is going to be one of the more prominent lines in the coming years. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Always a pleasure to talk Funko Pops with you, and I'm looking forward to the holiday edition for December. I'm hoping that we're going to get some awesome news, because normally around this time is when Funko starts to give us a little bit of a spoiler and a little bit of a tease as to what is actually going to be coming out in terms of Funko next year. And I'm hoping there are going to be some lines that they have constantly been talking about. But for now, please leave your comments in the box below. Let's talk Funko Pops until the cows come home, and I will see you in the next one. Actions speak louder than words.